Good morning, readers. Today in Reading Workshop, we are going to focus on um, what good readers do. And good readers make inferences. So what exactly is an inference? Well, an inference is a new idea. Okay, so how do you make an inference while reading? Well, if you think back to the beginning of the year and before we left school, we learned how to use our reading voice and our thinking voice. These are both very important and if you use them together, you will be able to make an inference. So, you're, we're gonna do a little math now. So your reading voice plus your thinking voice will equal an inference. Okay, so your reading voice is the voice that you hear when you read. It is the details that you find in the text. You don't have to try and figure them out. They're right there in the text. Or they're in the visuals, the pictures, the maps, the pictures in the chapter book, right? There's no thinking involved. When you add that to the other voice that you have, which is your thinking voice, your thinking voice makes the meaning, right? It's that backpack knowledge that we always talked about. Um, it's when you're reading and you're reading the details, you think, oh, I'm thinking this, or I'm thinking that. Okay, so again, let's think about what we just said. We said our reading voice, which are the details, plus your thinking voice, which are um, the backpack knowledge that you have and the meaning that you make from the details equals an inference. And an inference, again, is a new idea. Say that. An inference is a new idea. Okay, so let's practice this. But before we practice, I want you to watch Ms. Mosel make an inference. Okay, so first I'm gonna use my reading voice. And I'm gonna use, say, a magnifying glass to kind of zoom in on what I see. So I'm looking at this picture and I'm gonna zoom in with my magnifying glass and I'm going to just say exactly what I see. All right, I see toes, I see a Band-Aid, I see, it looks like sunburn. I see bare feet. Okay, so those are the details, right? Or if you don't know what sunburn is, you can say that half of our foot is red and half of our foot has a white stripe. All right, now, now I'm gonna use my thinking voice. So I remember those details that I said while reading or using my reading voice. Now my thinking voice is chiming in. And I'm thinking, this person is not very careful, right? Um, they're probably a little impulsive, probably carefree. Um, I'm, I'm also thinking, I've seen feet like this, like when I've been at the beach, right? Or when I was playing outside. Um, it looks like flip-flops, like she may have had, she or he may have had some flip-flops on. I definitely know using my backpack knowledge that this was someone that was in a warm, sunny place because I know that sun makes your feet red like this. Um, maybe they were on the boardwalk because I see the wood deck or um, maybe on a deck outside. And I feel like it's a younger person. Okay, so what's my new idea? I take what I saw in the visual the details, plus what I was thinking when I was looking at the details, right? And I put those two together and I've come up with an inference. And my inference is that this is a young person who likes to have fun, who may be irresponsible and doesn't think of consequences. That's my new idea. All right, let's try to make an inference together now. So I have another picture here. I have my magnifying glass and I'm gonna zoom in on the pictures and I'm just looking at details, right? I'm not really thinking, I'm just using my reading voice. So let's see, what do I see? Well, I see a little boy. I see an older lady. I see the little boy is smiling, he's happy. The older lady is also happy. Um, I can tell 
by the body language, the little boy is leaning his cheek on the older lady, and I see that they're sitting on a couch together. These are the details that I see, right? Now, my thinking voice starts to work. So what am I thinking based on those details? Well, I'm thinking that they're both very happy to see each other. They seem very comfortable with one another, right? They seem to know each other, they're smiling. They're definitely not strangers. Um, they're in a home, so I know that they um, know each other very well. You wouldn't just allow anyone in your home. Um, and they seem to really like or love each other based on the body language and the smiles. So that's my thinking voice. So now I'm going to make an inference, right? My reading voice, the details, plus my thinking voice equals an inference or a new idea. So this is my inference. This is a young child with his grandmother, relative, or close friend. They are happy to see each other. Now, again, the picture did not tell me that. The author of the picture did not tell me this. I use those two voices to come up with this new idea. Okay, so good readers make inferences. Using your reading voice to collect details about the text and what do you see or read in the text. And plus, using your thinking voice to connect details, using your backpack knowledge, right? I'm thinking this equals a whole new idea or an inference. So when you read today, I want you to practice making an inference. Um, I'm going to upload a video. The book is called Catching the Moon. And um, practice, you know, Miss Mosel is going to read the book to you, but you can practice making inferences as I read the book to you or do it on your own time with your own book. But your lesson today or this week will be um, to listen to the story Catching the Moon, make some inferences, write them down on a sticky note or in your journal, and then you can answer these questions, all right? So as you listen to the story, remember, good readers make what? Inferences, and inferences or an inference is a new idea. And some of the questions that you'll be able to answer after making these inferences or making connections like what we did a few weeks ago, you'll be able to answer what was the main character's dream? What are some of the obstacles that she faced? How did she overcome these obstacles? And did she realize her dream? Okay, so I want you to focus on that. You did a great job today. And um, I miss you very much. And I will be in touch soon. Bye.